This tutorial is prepared using ArcGIS help. An overview of Kogo. When surveyors or civil engineers need to record the location of human-made features, such as land parcels, road center lines, utility easements containing transmission lines and oil and gas leases, they typically provide the results on a survey plan that describes the location of features relative to each other. Each line has measurements that describe it. A straight line has a direction and distance, while a curved line has a radius, angle, arc length, direction, and so on. These measurements are coordinate geometry descriptions. You can use these COGO descriptions to accurately recreate the features the surveyor captured. Software Demonstration Click on Arc Catalog Right click to create file geo database. Give any name. Right click here to create feature data set. Name it. Choose appropriate coordinate system. Right click on feature data set to create feature class. Left click here to choose line type. Add fields of your interest. Click on Finish button. I have created parcel boundary. Now I will add Kogo fields. Right click here at this ribbon. Select Customize, Menu Item. Click on Commands Page tab. Click on Show Commands containing text box. Type Kogo. Left click here. Drag this tool to your toolbar. Click on parcel underscore boundary item. Click on preview page tab. Click on preview combo box. Click on table item. Click on create COGO fields button. Click on Position Indicator to see automatically new COGO fields have been generated. Open ArcMap. Add raster data. Here I am choosing high resolution data of a digrat, around Piazza area. Zoom into any parcel, here I am zooming stadium because it will help me to demonstrate straight line and curves.
Add feature class to ArcMap. Right-click on Ribbon to get Kogo tool set. Click on Editor menu button and start editing. Click on Traverse button. Choose Start Point. Left click here to choose geometry type. Click on direction distance item. Give direction and distance values. Click on Add button. Click on Curve item. Here you have to give curve parameters. Kogo curve parameters. Chord. Chord also referred to as the chord distance, the straight line distance between the endpoints of the curve. Angle. The angle formed between the endpoints of the curve and the center point. Arc, the length along the curve. Radius, the length from the center point to the curve. Tangent, the distance between the endpoint and the point of intersection. The point of intersection is determined by intersecting a perpendicular line from each of the endpoints of the curve. Chord height, also referred to as the arc height. This is the distance between the curve and the chord segment. Input the arc values. Choose close loop, there will be minor error, which you can adjust, click add adjust button.
Here I am choosing compass technique to adjust the error. Click on accept button if you satisfy. Left zoom to layer to observe the parcel. Select open attribute table menu item to observe the values of the parcel. Right click on parcel underscore boundary to label the demand ions. Select properties, menu item. Click on append button to label more than one value. Now your parcel is ready, this parcel can be considered as legal documents, to work on some advanced features you may choose Parcel Fabric Tool, it's a very robust system it covers varieties of client requirements.